Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back your lovely faces to a brand new video here on the channel. Well, today we're going to be talking about something which is now it's not the first time that this has actually happened. And to be honest with you, it's getting beyond a joke now. And what are we talking about? We're talking about Tug and we're also going to be talking about Amber Heard fans who for some unknown reason now... They just keep on going and calling CPS, Child Protection Services, on Tug, which is just beyond ridiculous now. It's absolutely stupid. But first, oh, excuse me, before we get into that, guys, I do just want to say I do have a brand new channel. Come geek some clips. I will be putting up there little, little three, you know, three to five minute things. Mostly if a, if a video goes over 10 minutes, that's where they'll be, guys. But that'll be on there for you. I'll leave a link for you below. But getting back to today's story. I saw this this morning because Tug did post this last night. I'm starting to stay off Twitter in the evenings because, again, mental health is so important to everyone. But when you got people doing this to you, it can cause a lot of damage. Not just to you, but the people involved. And with Tug, he put this out there. Weirdos just sent CPS to our home. Again. That's the reality covering a case like Johnny Depp VAH, and they continued this from places like Rolling Stone, Washington Post, Newsweek, and more. Gonna get a lawyer today to sniff out the complainant if possible, which I really do hope that they're able to find out if this person did leave any type of information regarding them. But it wouldn't surprise me if it's most likely anonymous, because, again, the people who are doing this, and we all know who they are, they're, you know, we know that they all support Amber, and they're in that little click of little uh, demon seeds, you know, demon jizz. And it's just really sad to see that because somebody is making videos on someone, which, again, has nothing to do with that person who ever rang them up, got nothing to do with them. And they, you know, they're like, oh, my God, you made a video on her. That's it. I'm going to enter your real life and cause trouble to you. That's mind-blowing to me still to this day. And I've seen it happen now so many times. I've seen it happen to Tug, I think, about three to four times in the last sp in the space of a couple of years. And it's just, it's sickening. Because, as Tug says down by here, it's, uh, you know, not about the docs, the work and all that, but targeting an eight and a three-year-old? Just because their father makes videos on YouTube? These people thought, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to ring the police. I'm going to send this to them. I'm going to do this. It's the same when it goes for, like, uh, gaming and people who get swatted and all this kind of stuff. To me, the people who do those call-ins, they are 110,000% messed up in the head. They need to be locked away and get treated because that's just not something normal that you do. But again, no, these people think they're clever. They think they're geniuses. Oh, I can get away with this. Ha, ha, ha. Sadly, you can't. There is ways now that the police and all these other places, they are implementing ways of finding out these people. But it's just sad to see that people think, you know, be oh, because this guy made videos on Amber, because he was brought up in the court, we're going to do this to him. To me, that just shows that you're sick in the head. You know, that literally does mean that you are messed up. There's something in your body that makes you think this is okay. No, it doesn't work like that. But as you can see, when you go around and you've got other people here, you've got Brenda who says that she used to work as an emergency worker with it. You know, don't take it to heart. Which, again, 100% is true. If they call up, you do have to go and see if anything is happening. Because, God forbid... One of those calls, it could genuinely be real. But like Tug says by here, though, my issue is that by now, any of these agencies should have enough of a file with false police calls, and more than this should be well documented. Exactly. Because, like I said, with Tug, it's happened so many times to him. It's ridiculous. But then you've also got someone by here, which is Warrior Princess. And with this, 100% true. Post from Paul Baresi. Paul Baresi is the private investigator who can find dirt on the Pope. 
Literally, if you remember, he was hired by Amber Heard and her team to find dirt on Johnny, dating back for decades. That's 40 years. They couldn't find anything on Johnny. They found a ton of stuff on Amber and her family, though. That's when she got rid of him. But as Paul Barassi has said, Johnny Depp's uh, right-hand man, you know, his conciliary, Adam Waldman, told me that people she holds a grudge against have been victimized by vandalism and break-ins. It's elaborate and extensive, not random, and those targeted are connected by virtue of being helpful to Johnny, he said. Now, if you remember, just a week or so before the actual court case went in, you had Jennifer Howell. Her apartment was broken into. Now, if you need to remember the apartment that Jennifer Howell lives in, she lives in the building where I believe she was on the third or fourth floor, maybe even more. You have a doorman, and the doorman signs in everyone who goes into that building. That person obviously went in there, probably uh, saying they were a delivery man or whatever, got this, going up to this floor, blah, 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 and then they broke into her home. If you remember as well, you also had the nurse, you know, someone made a complaint against their license, which they do say by here, which we have, um, where is it, by here, and this one by here, yeah, the nurse had a complaint filed against her license, which is absolutely over there, as you go, have reported for violating the ethics. So yeah, so you got all these people who, these are happening to it, the ones who can help Johnny, or the ones who support Johnny. It's absolutely disgusting, and enough is enough. Because you got Nate now, Nate the lawyer. A million percent behind the guy against uh, Chris Bowsey, because Chris Bowsey, for some unknown reason, he thinks he's the white knight that everyone needs. No, he's nothing. With Boozy, if I saw him being attacked on the street, if I saw him being, and he was on fire, I wouldn't even spit on him. I wouldn't even do that to give him a little bit of help. He's that kind of person, and I can really see that a lot of people would do the same. Because Chris Bowsey is... He's like a worm who feeds off all the other, other crap around him. And to be honest with you, thinking now, it's not really a surprise that he did kind of go with Amber and her team, because, well, you know, the stuff that he does, which he's basically a rat, because he does that thing, you know, Goes to Twitter. Twitter, you should get rid of these people. Oh my God, look what they're doing. Don't worry what I'm doing, no Twitter. I'm doing everything that I'm telling you, but worse. You know, and it's just absolutely crazy. But going back with this above, you know, as you go back to the main one, you do have other people, uh, you know, jumping in as well and saying good things about it. You know, ridiculous. It's a waste of good resources. That should be put elsewhere, not at your door. I hope you get to the bottom of this and stops. Yeah, exactly, you know. The, uh, everything that they're doing, they're taking the time from the people at CPS, these emergency workers who are going to these calls, and they're like, oh, it's a false call, you know, my kids are fine or whatever, come on in and check, and they're like, at that time, that person could have been going somewhere where something drastically horrible has happened, but they're not going to get there in time, because these people who are making these false calls decide it's a good idea just to try and do some bling. And it's like, you should be held responsible if anything does happen, you know? That's how I look at all of this. It's like with the person who was, uh, he was swatted, a, a gamer was, a gamer, and uh, he, had a, he had his controller in his hand. He came to the front door, he was like, what's going on? The police were there, they were all aiming at him, and then all of, he's like, what's going on? What's happening? And he said, and they were like, oh, drop it, drop it, and he's like, drop what? And they opened, they just, you know, deleted him from this earth. The person who sent them, you who actually did the swatting, he did get arrested, and he is now serving time in prison. That's what should happen with these. Because it's taking away the resources of something that could potentially be going down somewhere else. Just because you've got a little bit of a... Because it's not even a grudge, really, is it? You know, because you're on the internet, and you're letting a social media website dictate how you treat others. That's not right, you know? And if you're treating other people like that, then that's how you deserve to be treated, you know? Like I said, I've always said this, literally. Well, there's a couple of things. Treat others how you want to be treated. And just because you're offended doesn't mean you're right. 
Those two sayings I stand by for a lot, and I mean a lot of things. You treat someone absolutely horrible, you know, and that's how you should be treated. But again, now with this here, they literally are, for some unknown reason, they're blinded by Amber and some other people who are doctoring evidence, by the way. Remember that, faking evidence. And they're doing all this kind of stuff. Nothing like this has been done by any Johnny Depp fan to any of them. You know, isn't that coincidence? And another thing as well, which they all say as well, is uh, they keep going on. Oh, we had so many nasty DMs or we had so many of these saying that we should uh, self-delete ourselves. Well, show those messages. They don't because they don't they don't exist. But they like to say, oh, it does. Yeah. And then they're not going to show anyone because they haven't got anything because they're liars. Exactly like their queen bee. Anyway, that's enough of that video for that. You know, it's, it's annoying and say enough is enough, guys. Again, we need to support Tug with all of this. I'm 100% behind him. But ladies and gentlemen, if you are brand new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell and I'll see you all very soon.